How can we solve complex societal challenges such as unemployment, segregation and digital exclusion? One way is through social innovation, which means innovative methods, activities and collaboration to improve people's living conditions. By co-creation, cross-sectoral cooperation, transgressing traditional systems and silos, we can become more innovative and change society to become more inclusive and sustainable. Complex problems benefits from many different stakeholders contributing to the understanding and development of solutions to them, not least the people who are directly affected by the challenges. But how can we make such processes happen in practice? Research shows that social innovation consists of several crucial elements and levels in the process of developing and establishing social innovations, including mobilization, idea generation, implementation, and value creation. These do not always occur in chronological order, but tend to be continuously repeated and interwoven. All change processes, for example, efforts to get more young people into work or to increase the well-being of a city district, can be designed and supported so that they enable social innovation in a more effective and sustainable way. Here are examples of tools and methods to support the different elements of social innovation and examples for each level that were collected within the European Collaborative Project Building Capacity for a Sustainable Society, Bukasus. 1. To identify and understand societal challenges. In order to be able to tackle societal challenges, they need to be scrutinized from many different perspectives. It can be done in different ways, but the ambition is to gather stakeholders and actors from different sectors of society to jointly analyze and describe societal challenges. One example is Partnerskap for Social Innovation in Örebro County in Sweden, which annually arranges meetings where the 40 partner organizations from various sectors of society are invited to discuss and decide which social challenge is most relevant to focus on in the region of the coming years. Another example is the Aguirre Legendacaria Center, the Basque Country's social innovation lab in Spain, which involves people affected by the societal challenge through a method called community listening process in the entire process from needs description onwards. Two, to mobilize actors and resources. In this part, relevant social actors need to be identified and involved in order to bridge silos and make use of diverse competences and resources. What actors and resources are active in the area? What activities, skills and funding do different organizations offer? Here support can be connecting different actors, initiating, arranging and facilitating new meetings, collaborations and partnerships between stakeholders and the people who are directly affected. An example is the Spanish El Día Después that arranges cross-sectoral workshops for dialogue and co-creation on specific and complex issues. They bring together citizens, public and private sectors, academia and decision makers and act as a platform for transformative partnerships around societal challenges based on Agenda 2030. 3. To generate, design and test solutions. In order to develop and establish innovative solutions, there is not only a need of generating creative, innovative ideas, but also about sifting out the most promising ideas, designing concrete solutions, as well as testing, experimenting and further adjusting the solutions. To support this part, it is possible, for example, to offer various meeting arenas, platforms and methods to create and facilitate the exchange of ideas, knowledge and experiences to contribute to solving societal challenges. One example is the Social Innovation Network run by the Spanish Red Cross in collaboration with the Stanford Social Innovation Review and Ashoka's network of social entrepreneurs, engaging actors in the thematic webinars every two months to find solutions to a societal challenge. Another example is the coalition model that has been developed by Forum for Social Innovation Sweden at Malmö University. The goal is to bring together actors from all sectors and share knowledge to catalyze interaction and innovative collaboration within a specific societal challenge. The coalition model consists of four meetings with different arrangements and exercises. The content is created by the coalition participants and actors together during the meetings. The forum leads and facilitate the meetings. 4. To realize solutions in practice. 
When there is an idea that has been tested, it needs to be implemented in a practical way in a real-life context. This involves, among other things, finding a suitable organizational form and a functioning business model. One example is Ronald Pia, which is an incubator for social entrepreneurship that develops programs in various locations in the Auvergne-Rhône-Alpes region of France. They offer support in the creation of projects with structuring a business model and finding contacts within the local ecosystem. In Latvia, Reach for Change work as an educational and support institution to strengthen social innovators and develop the Latvian support system for social entrepreneurship with a focus on children and young people. 5. To create and make visible social change. In order to bring about social change, various initiatives need to be supported and followed up in the longer term. What value did the solution create and for whom? There are several different models for documenting and making visible the social, economic and environmental values that are created through social innovations, for example impact measurement and change theory. In Latvia, Reach for Change support social entrepreneurs in business planning and measurement of social impact. In the incubator program, social entrepreneurs are offered training in impact measurement and individual support. In France, AVIS, a competence centre for social innovation, offers support organisations, the CAP Impact Training program, with various tools to measure social impact. Support organisations can then, in turn, support various social innovation projects and the ecosystem. So to summarise, in order for us to make social innovation happen, support is needed throughout the social innovation process and we need to Be aware of the different elements of social innovation Actively support the different elements of social innovation with suitable methods, resources and contacts Support co-creation and cross-sectoral cooperation Support the involvement of the people affected by the societal challenge